Hello, good people. How are you guys today? I hope everyone is doing well. We, hey, Cammy. We are going to make um, one of Naomi's testers, Naomi from the Chandler's Rose. We're going to make one of her testers. <laughs> hey, speaking of, hey, Naomi. So we are um, getting ready to make holiday, old-fashioned holiday candy. These gloves be killing me. First, let me reset. You know, I always forget to say who I am. I am Shelly Moise, owner of Noah's Garden Bath and Body. We make um, skinning, skincare products. And today we are going to test um, a fragrance called Old Fashioned Holiday Candy from the company The Chandler's Rose. Thank you for inviting followers. I always forget to do that. Let me get set up on my tablet here so I can see the comments. Thank you very much, Trinity. I appreciate it. Cut the volume down so we don't get an echo. All right. Good, good, good. So I've been um, looking at some pictures and let's share on Twitter. Let's get set up there. And um, there we go. Yay. Looking at some pictures of holiday candy and trying to come up with a color scheme. So what I have is we're going to have some white. Hold on. Let me get you guys set up so we can see a little better. There we go. There we go. I think that's good. White, red, green. Yeah, it's customary, but I wanted to do a little bit extra. I don't know why, but I did. So we've got our white going on here. Some white in there. We've got um, as best of a red as I can mix. That's what I have. I wish my lighting was a little bit better, but this is what we have, y'all. We've got some orange. We've got some yellow. We've got some green. And then for our top, uh-oh, I might need to add a little bit of oil to this. We had some silver, but um, this done dried up. Let me add a little bit more oil to it. Guess the silver was like, you're taking too long. Just a little bit more oil to that. The silver was like, I'm gonna need you to get it together. Okay, that's better. I hope they come out well, you know, colors. So here's our silver, and that's only gonna go on top. It looks kind of gunmetal gray, but on top of the soap, it should be really pretty silver. So, um, we have, oh, thank you. <laughs> We have our oils in here, or just a little bit of kale and clay. I don't know if you guys can see this little blob right here. And then in here, we have all of our additives. So let's go ahead and get started. We're, um, and our fragrance, let's not forget the fragrance. Here's our fragrance. 
In fact, let's go ahead, let's add our fragrance now. And just for the sake of accuracy, I'm going to weigh my fragrance in here. Just for the sake of it. Okay. That's 0.95 for my record keeping. Because this also serves as record keeping for me. Okay. Now let's add our additives in here. We're going to do all of this up front. Lots of yummy additives in there. My husband just walked in home from work. Yes, that's how much I added. Yes, Trinity, thank you. And let's give this a blend right quick before we add the lye. Oh goodness, power. You can't do anything without power. Power, y'all, power. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right, power. If my mom was here, she'd say, power in the name. That's what she would say. All right. Get those additives mixed in there. Hi, Makani. Thank you for joining. Okay, now we're ready for the vibe. And I'm straining this in, even though it's water and I can see it, because there, um, I don't know, it's a little bit of floaties in there. I love watching this stuff being made, even though I won't do it. <laughs> Actually, um, it's a lot of stuff that I like watching to be made thank you for inviting flowers that i don't do so i certainly understand i certainly understand but you know soap making isn't as, as hard as it looks if i can do it you can do it oh that smells so good Good there. Let's get mixed up. This looks complicated. That's funny. It's, you know, it's okay. It's not too complicated. If I can do it, you can do it. That's for sure. this cord and I soaked a little cool cooler than I wanted to soak <laughs> hello husband <laughs> But let's see. Let's see what it's going to do for me. My favorite thing to make is lotion and body cream, though. I, um... 
I've made lotion before and I enjoy making lotion. In fact, um, it did come together fast. That's why I'm a little nervous about this false trace. That did come together really fast. But at the same time, um, I'm gonna blend it some more when I mix in these colors, so I'm not, you know, too nervous about it because it is going to get blended up some more when I mix in the colors. And um, and if it's not false trace, I don't want to be wasting time. Might be the scent that helped it to accelerate to that point. Yeah, but it was thick before I put, it, put um, the scent in there. And that kind of happens when you soap at room temperature. Now, I wanted to soap just a little warmer than room temp, but I let the time get away from me. It's not thickening up, though. No, it's not thickening up, but before it does... So what we're going to do, oh, I love to make lotion. I've only made it a couple of times, though, so I'm not very confident in my lotion-making skills. So we're going to pour off um, six ounces of each color. And then we're going to do it in the pot swirl. Yeah, I, um, uh oh, that was more than six. I, um, I've only made it a couple of times, so I'm not really confident in my lotion making skills. And I know the only way to really get confident is to, you know, make lotion more often, which is what I need to be doing. I'm sorry what I'm doing right now isn't in the camera, but I'm just um, pouring. I'm going to move this into the camera in just a second. And I keep over pouring. Whoa. Rushing. I keep over pouring it. And I'm not um, precise with these measurements because I have to be. I'm precise with these measurements because um, I'm kind of retentive like that. Um, Numbers and measurements make me um, feel comfortable. They just do. For record keeping, yes, that's what we're going to say. Yes, yes, I do that for record keeping. Sure. Okay, so we got our colors poured off. Let's get our white in here. Let's get us back, <laughs> Let's get us back into camera. There we go. So we can get this white in here. And I'm not using um, titanium dioxide for my white. I'm using um, 
a mica called um yeah sure a mica called ultra ultra pearly white mica by brambleberry because um why did i use i'm trying to get in the habit of saying the questions out loud because i load these to youtube and YouTube doesn't have the comments. So why did I use mica instead of TD? Because TD leaves a lot of um, spots and streaks. And those spots and streaks end up as streaks in your soap and it's really irritating. Yeah, so. So I just decided to use mica instead. Okay, so we got that. But don't you have to use a lot more mica to get the same effect? Mm, it depends on the mica actually. Because I've seen soapers use tons of TD to get their soap white. And now also, it depends too on your soap batter. If you use um, oils that don't soap white, then you have to work harder to get a white. But if you use oils that soap white, then you don't have to work as hard to get a white. Let's put this scale away. Let's work on these colors. So our first color here that's thickening up is green. Uh, okay, didn't know that. Yeah, um, it really just depends on, it really depends on the oils in your soap. Some oils like, um, which one Naomi? Hemp seed oil is real green. So you have to work hard, hard, hard to get a white when you use that oil. Shea butter and unrefined cocoa butter, there's our green. Shea butter and unrefined cocoa butter, yeah, is um, very yellow. So then you have to work super hard um, if you use a lot of shea butter and cocoa butter, it can be really difficult to get a color. Yeah, exactly. And if, you, <clears throat> if you're using something that soaps yellow, then how, how on earth can you get a purple? Or a blue? Because those are opposite of yellow. So it's best, you know, you kind of have to know your oils and what they do, how they respond in order to know, you know, how your colors will respond. Yep. Got our yellow. Work on this orange. I'm gonna try soap one day. You should. Soaping is awesome. And it's really not um, as complicated as it seems. It's really not. In fact, it is as complicated as you make it. Like I made this real complicated today. I could have just did white, red, and green. And when it would have been just as nice, but no, no. I had 
had to go mixing all these colors. Had to make things complicated. Red is a hard, hard, hard color to achieve. Man, that's a difficult color to achieve. I don't know why red is so hard to get. But red is difficult, period. Um, and lots of things. Red is um, difficult as a color to color your hair. Because I was going to say that looks purple. Hmm. It's not like a fire engine red. It's more of a, like a brick red. But it'll be good for, yeah, it'll be good for a holiday color. All right, so I know my white is just mad at me. Okay, so I'm going to mix this just a little bit to loosen it up. I am going to pour red, 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 um, and then let's pour some more red here. Can't be getting all fancy fried because we ain't got a whole lot of time. Okay, let's pour some green, 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 Thank you for joining. We are making a soap called Old Fashioned Holiday Candy. Orange. And I've never seen this done before. Soap making? Oh, well, I was a bit overzealous in my project today. So I don't know if this soap is the best example for you to watch for your first time. So we're just going to in the pot, swirl that a little bit, get our bit side done. And then let me make sure I got you guys on the camera. Hmm. Let's do it like this. There we go. And then we're going to pour it in. I'm sorry if I'm missing any comments. Let's get the rest of this in. Mm. 
Would it have been easier to pour drops of it and marble it, or is it for a different effect? It's for a different effect. is for a different effect. But um, because I let this get too cool, I should have soaked. I soaked definitely room temperature when I should have soaked at um, maybe about uh, 90 degrees. That's what I should have soaked at. What scent will this be? This is scented in a fragrance called Old Fashioned Holiday Candy. And that's exactly what it smells like, that um, Old Fashioned Holiday Candy. You know the candy that came in the tin box? That came in that tin box the grandma used to have, at least my grandma used to have it all the time. All the time. That was our Let's get our yellow. Um, am I still in Hawaii? No, I'm in California now. Are you gonna marble through those colors or just leave them as is? No, I'm gonna marble through them. Nope, I am in Hawaii now. Thank you, I didn't even see you come in. Andrea, I did not even see you come in. Yeah, we are finally here in Hawaii. I mean, uh, in Cali. Getting set up and getting used to things. Definitely getting used to this weather change. Nobody in my house has worn a jacket in a long time. And despite being in Southern California, the area that I'm in is cold. It's not warm here. It's not warm here at all. That was our yellow. in the corner. Let's get this red smoothed out. Hmm, okay, that is our okay. Have fun at the park, Cam. 
All right. Yeah, I'm gonna get just a little olive oil. Just a little. Let's see. I don't need any oil for the orange. Great to see you here. You too. I've been um, so out of my element trying to get used to doing things here. My setup is different. And I'm going to get a little bit of oil, a little olive oil for um, my yellow. Let me see. And this silver and the red. These done dried up on. Okay. So my silver just for a little tinsel, but this silver has tones of blue in it. Mm, I don't know that I like it. But it's on there now. And the red. Hi, thank you for joining the 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 brides. Thank you for joining. This was a pretty soap before I started adding all of this stuff to it. Let's see what we get when it's all said and done. All right, now let's get into it. Well, I tell you what, that looked a whole lot differently in my head than what it came out to look like. Phew, but that happens sometimes. I'm gonna drop some glitter over the top of this because you can't have a holiday soap without glitter. Hi, I love you, sweet honey. Thank you for joining. <laughs> hey, Naomi, thank you for coming back with us. And normally I'm not this heavy handed with glitter, but it's a Christmas soap. And um, we'll see how it looks in a couple of days. Hi, Dawn of Daylight, thank you for joining. Okay, so here's what we have. Let me get let me clean this up just a little bit. Hi, G Lomo or Glomo. Thank you for joining. Right, 
B2. <laughs> I'm um, really curious to see what this one is going to look like. So here we have it. All glittered up with our yellow, our orange, our red, our green. I think it looks pretty holiday-ish. Is the scent strong? Yes, it is. It definitely is. Yes, it is. No doubt about that. Thank you. It's, I'm very tempted to play with these scoops a little bit more, but I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, so y'all don't be a, don't don't be surprised when I lift this camera up and and you see me. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it alone. You know that's our biggest enemy is that we want to mess with the tops and keep messing with them and keep messing with them. Oh, you're very welcome, Makani. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, you're very welcome. So again, thank you guys for joining me. Um, for those of you have been, ha, that have been with me a while, um, I, you see my setup is very different. I used to stand right in front of a refrigerator, but the new house has um, a spot for me. So I have everything set up in a different area, but I don't have access to my sink anymore. So it's a, a bit of a different setup that I'm getting used to. But I'm Shelly Moise. I'm the owner of Noel's Garden Bath and Body. Okay, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Thank you very much. Yes, this is um, an apron. One of my soapy friends, her husband does aprons and things like that. So I sent her the um, picture and he did the apron for me. Yeah, I love it. But um, so if you, thank you very much. If you're looking for my products, you can find them, but you can't buy them yet. Not quite just yet. I'm not quite ready to sell. But if you just want to take a browse at what I do have and what I do make, I'm at noelsgarden.com. You can check me out there. Um, but pretty soon, I will be ready to sell. Again, I just moved here to California from Hawaii. I'm a veteran. I'm an Air Force retiree. But I'm married to a service member. My husband's active duty Navy. So we do that move around thing quite a bit every few years. But thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. Again, this was the making of Christmas candy. You're very welcome. Christmas candy. And I'll be taking some pictures of that and loading it up to my site just because I like the colors. You guys have a fantastic day. Bye-bye now.